Can I just ask for a show of hands? How many here have bought a penny stock in the last six months? Sorry, wala makita. It's, it's the light. Can you can you show up? Show up. Damia. How many like to gamble? <laughs> okay. So basically, my entire presentation today is all about momentum, and there is a reason why more people signed up for this session than the one on the left. It's because I'd like to assume that people just like to speculate and like to gamble. Okay. Now, momentum stocks is that it's actually much boring than what we portray it to be. Except that most people like to get excited more. Okay. So what we're going to be going through is try to address some parts about momentum and try to see how you can make it work into your favor. Okay. Now, I know a lot of people have gone through a lot of indicators. How many here have more than two or three indicators when they make a decision? Two or three indicators, okay? It could be anything, okay? And now my point is, is that there's nothing wrong with using indicators, okay? But when you're using indicators or technical indicators in your favor, you have to make sure you understand what it's telling you about, okay? We've gone through, like what Lauren said this morning, we've gone through all indicators. So we've gone through ADX, stochastics, moving averages, RSI, et cetera, et cetera. And if there's one thing that we all rely back into over the last five years, it's just one thing, and it's price. Okay? Not any other indicator, just price. If you show me a chart, if you show me a chart, I can draw for you all indicators. Okay? But what all of these things are just a function of price. That's my point. Okay? So if you draw me, if you show me a price chart of Ayala, SM, I can draw you what the MACD looks like. I can draw you what stochastics look like. I can tell you whether it's overbought or oversold, whether it's through RSI or ADX. I guarantee that. Okay? But my point is, at the end of the day, the only thing that becomes useful to us is understanding what price tells us. Okay? Those indicators that you've learned and you've used over time, I share it to people, those indicators are important, but you need to understand what those are telling you when it comes to price. So if you don't understand price, ladies and gentlemen, please don't use those indicators. Okay? Because I, like, I showed, like what Chad showed you guys a while ago, one chart, we can have five different interpretations just based on what you think, what your seatmate thinks, what everybody else thinks. But I tell people, just look at price and let the price tell you where it wants to go, whether it's up or whether it's down. Okay? So logic speaking, okay, logic speaking is that when you guys were on initially here to learn about investing or anything else, it's simple. The goal to make money is to buy low, sell high. Right? It's to look for good companies, buy companies that are cheap, value, and look to be selling. That's the essence of investing. That's the essence, essentially, of making money. Because why would you buy high and sell low? I'm sure marami dito, lagi nagbabay high, lagi nagkakat sa ilalim. Okay? So what's the logic behind that? Why do we have to buy high and think about selling higher when most of the time we always buy high, sell lower? It doesn't make sense. Right? So in traditional speaking, most people have to have this entire logic. This is... Logic first. You buy low, cheap, it goes up, sell high if it's expensive. That's basically the basic knowledge. Okay? So the question is why, in, in our general sense, why would we buy high and sell higher? Okay? And if there's the case, if a stock goes up 10% in one week, example, SM goes up 10% in one week, happy na ba kayo hindi? Happy or hindi? Happy, happy. Correct? In fact, if, you're, if, if SM or Ayala goes up 10% in a week, what's the average return for SM or Ayala over a long period of time? Over one year? 10? 12%? So that 10% na inakat niya for that week, technically, yun yung 10% niya for the entire year. Does that make sense? Ladies and gentlemen, is that clear? Okay. So if that's the case, then why are you still buying it? 
Did you guys understand that? Okay, what's the logic of buying Ayala or SM when it's already above 10% for the week? Ano? Akat pa ba ng 50% yan? Sa panaginip mo, oo. Okay? So this is why I tell people, it's because from the initial screening, from the initial logic of a stock, a lot of people make a mistake. And I'll show the reason why I said that. Huh? It's because we asked for your top 10 stocks in Momentum and you guys will all laugh at it. Okay? Not to make fun of you guys, but just to say the truth. Okay? Now, in what cases would we see something that would go up 10%, you buy high, you buy something that's up 10%, and would even go even higher? So meaning, if you buy a favorite telco, you buy now corporation, goes up 10%, okay lang. Bakit? Magdodobol pa, triple eh. Right? Alam mo ba kung totoo, hindi. Siyempre, hindi. But pwede ba mangyari? Pwede ba mangyari o? Okay. And that's the reason why we understand momentum trading. It's because our initial screening is that when we look for companies or we look for stocks, we look for the ones that have this highly huge speculation that not just goes up 10, 15% in a week, but even the potential to go up 50, 60 in a month or even double or triple within a few months. Okay? And that's the logic about why we understand momentum. So the question is, why, would it, why does, how come CEO never teaches momentum on this case? Okay? It's the same reason why we don't teach it. It's because at the end of the day, where do all these penny stocks go, up or down? Okay, and if you notice the chart of all penny stocks, it stays here, goes up, goes back down. Right? Yes or no? Okay, if that's the question, who made money? Who made money? Hmm? Very good. It's COL that made money. Did you guys understand? If a stock goes here, goes up, goes down, if half of the room made money, Half of the room also lost money. The only person who made money is COL. And the reason why I share that to you, it's because we're, we don't want you guys to go through it. That's the reason why we share to you, you guys that thing. Okay, we're honest the money. It's not going to be something that's going to be long lasting because if it's just going to be a zero sum game, half of you would probably lose money, half of you would make it. Okay? And that's why what we're trying to teach you is something about long-lasting, creating value, creating value or creating companies over time. Don't think that every single stock that you encounter is a zero-sum game, ladies and gentlemen. For every Pacifica, Vitarich, ano pa mga basura nyo? MRC, Golden Haven, Star Mall. For every penny stock that you go through, remember, PLDT used to be 20 pesos. DMC used to be 15 cents. Mega World used to be 20 cents. Okay, so my point is that even on your big corporations, they also started off as small, but they had value and they were able to generate something into big. Okay, and that was the foundation of much of what we're talking about in COL. Now, we just can't avoid it. Sometimes it just feels good to get our feet wet and what it feels like to actually own a third telco. Okay? So this is the reason what we're trying to teach. And the assumption here is basically does momentum strategy work? And all the data of what we've shown you guys, especially what Chairman's slide showed you in this morning, yes, it does work. Okay? 70% of the profits of city, city securities, city securities global, 70% of the profits last year were all momentum. Okay? So the answer is does it work? Yes, it does. Okay? It's not about stealing money from other people. That's not the point of what we're doing here in Momentum. It's not. Okay? It's just that you understand how things work from all scales. And I share it to you, this is something that we do not just in the Philippines. It's in all markets. We trade Japan, we trade US, and we trade Hong Kong. And we use the same strategy for 70% of our profits in 2017, just using Momentum. So now if you want to learn how to do it, here's where we go. Does everything make sense so far? Okay, good.